Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. UNCR, Universal Center for Renovation. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 8, 32. When the war broke out, the Jewish and Roman War in 66 AD, and Greeks and Jews were everywhere engaged in bloody strife, the Antiochians, or the citizens of Antioch, did no harm to their Jewish fellow citizens. When the Jewish and Roman War broke out, the Jews of Syria were not involved. Greeks and Jews in Syria fought, but not Romans and Jews. And at that time, the Greeks were under the empire of the Romans. After the fall of Jerusalem and the subjugation of the Jews, however, bitter hatred arose between the Antichians and the Jews. When the Romans destroyed Jerusalem, the Greeks living in Antioch wanted to change the civil rights of the Jews living in Antioch. The Greeks sought to abolish their citizenship when the victorious Titus was received by the Antiochians with enthusiasm, but they could not induce him to expel the Jews from their city, nor even to destroy the brazen tablets upon which the franchises of the Jews were inscribed. Emperor Vespasian Titus, Judean woman. The Christian era, the Jewish diaspora or diaspora in the first century AD. By the first century, both Jewish and non-Jewish writers express astonishment at the extent of the Jewish dispersion over the Hellenistic world. The causes were varied, but included immigration, exile, voluntary military service under foreign monarchs, and the sale into slavery of those captured after the war of Jerusalem. This dispersion was to have profound consequences not only for the Jews but for the whole world. Some Jews went into slavery. Others volunteered their military service to foreign kings including the Roman emperors. Atlas of the Bible page 1 70. Many of the Israelites immigrated out of the jurisdiction of the Roman Empire. The Judeo Syrians founded the Ghana Empire of West Africa 300 to 1100 
A-D. Wikipedia. Ghana Empire. The Ghana Empire, also known as Wagadu or Akar, was a West African empire based in the modern day southeast of Mauritania and western Mali that existed from 300 AD and to 1100 AD. Theories concerning the foundation of Ghana. French colonial officials, notably Maurice de la Fosse, whose works on West African history has been criticized by scholars. De la Fosse produced a convoluted theory of an invasion by Judeo-Syrians. The West African Kingdom of Ghana was founded by Jews from Syria, Judeo-Syrians. They immigrated from the Roman Empire. This map of Jewish colonies in Africa is from the book Lost Tribes, a Myth by Alan Goodbay. On the map, yellowed and highlighted, the Jewish Kingdom of Ganata location or the Jewish Kingdom of Ghana. Jewish Kingdom of Ghana the Jewish Kingdom of Ganata or Ghana, Jewish Kingdom of Ganata, Taganet, founded 300 AD by white Libyan Berbers. And this time, no matter how dark you were, or if your hair was woolly, if you came from the Middle East, you were labeled white. The kingdom occupied the great lowland, connecting the coastal caravan route with the upper Niger. Jews were on the coast in Philo's time. Philo, a Jewish scholar from Alexandria, Egypt. 22 Berbers, Jewish kings, reigned here before the Hagel. The scholar thought that's his quote. 44 have reigned by 790 AD when the dynasty was overthrown. At Lamla, 200 miles west of Timbuktu, a Jewish trade oasis persisted to 1076 AD when overthrown by Muslims. Barth in his book Travels in North Africa. The medieval Kamurai was possibly another remnant of the Jewish Taganet. Dr. J.J. Williams author of the new monumental work, Hebrewisms in West Africa, 1930, writes me, the author Alan H. Goodbay, that Ghana was in 17 degrees north latitude, 7 degrees east longitude, west of Nima. This puts it about 270 miles west by north from the much later Timbuktu, 70 miles northwest of the medieval Lamb Lat. Let's go to the book, Hebraism of West Africa, page 227. South 
of the Sahara. Whatever may be thought of the more or less mythological traditions connected with the earliest Jews in North Africa, it is now practically an established fact that a Jewish nation, Jewish at least in faith, and perhaps too in origin, long held sway south of the Sahara. But from the second and third centuries, there was there also Judeo Syrians coming from Cyrenica. Cyrenica, Libya was in the Roman Empire. Judeo Syrians immigrating outside the Roman Empire and founding a kingdom in West Africa called Ghana by scholars. Ghana, the title of Ghana from which their capital took its name. They were Judeo Syrians. The Jews of Syria established the kingdom of Ghana in West Africa. The Judeo Syrians migrated from Libya, a country that was part of the Roman Empire. They fled into the interior of West Africa along the Niger River. The World Book Encyclopedia Page 306. The majority of American Blacks trace their origin to an area in Western Africa that was controlled by three great and wealthy empires from about AD 300s to the late 1500s. These empires, Ghana, Mali, and Songhai. Black Americans, in addition to dark brown skin, most members have brown eyes, dark woolly or curly hair. The Judo Syrians founded the Ghana Empire. The very same people who were enslaved in the transatlantic slave trade. We are not investigating the history of the group of Judeo Syrians that fled the Roman Empire and founded kingdoms in the interior of Africa. This time, we want to know about the Judeo-Syrians that stayed in the Roman Empire and became its ruling elite a hundred years after the destruction of Jerusalem and who fell from power during the revolutions of Europe. Black people in ancient Roman history, the Black Romans, the Judeo-Syrians, the Jews of Syria and Jerusalem, the Byzantine Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. From the book, 
from Babylon to Timbuktu, page 84. In the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state with great slaughter. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. During the period from Pompey to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa, fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery. The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. Page 86. The Jews are an omnipresent people. They seem to exist everywhere. Judeo-Syrians, Jews of Syria, 